Welcome, folks, to downtown Atlanta and Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of this year's Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl and, of course, part of the college football playoff. We've reached the semifinal stage, one last hurdle to clear before the national championship game. We'll find out here today which side has the toughness and the depth to keep driving toward that ultimate goal, the chance to raise that gold trophy over their heads. As we'll see the third seed in this playoff, the Kansas State Wildcats taking on the number two seed in the playoff, the Temple Owls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined by Kirk Herbstreit, and here we go, a college football playoff semifinal. Which team will keep their national championship hopes alive today? Kickoff team out there. We are about to get cranked up for this semifinal collision. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So the Temple Owls offense making their way on the field today. Of course, this game in Atlanta, I think, is the mecca of college football. And over the years here in the Peach Bowl, we've seen underdog teams like UCF and Houston really come in here and make their own piece of history. And Chris, think about it. The Peach Bowl, kind of like the Cotton Bowl, has been a major winner in this playoff expansion. They have put on a great game, and they've already had some memorable moments. Who could forget in 2022, the field goal in the game that potentially wins it for Ohio State was kicked in 2022, and wide left, it hits the ground in the year of 2023. Important second down play coming up. Takes the handoff again. They'll bring him down right at the 30-yard line. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. The offense stays on the field. They're going to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. Dropping back, it's Adams. And he can't connect. The gamble doesn't pay off. Wildcats offense out there for their first possession. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Oh, it's a reverse. They've got him after a seven-yard game, so second and three. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball start, can start, break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Five-yard penalty makes it first and 15 now. And the tailback's got it again. And that run produces a decent game. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football. And by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. And it looks like the quarterback's going to run it. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Caught near the goal line. He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the Temple offense out there. Remember last time, they went for it on fourth down and got stopped, and the opponent went right down the field. See if they can recover from that here. Looking for the wideout. Throws a fastball, but it's intercepted. Look out, he's got some space. Touchdown, Wildcats. 
And the defense joins the party with a pick six. And a pick six. A monster play by this defense here, Kirk. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the ball in his hands. I wouldn't be surprised if the head coach watching that thought about maybe giving him some reps as a returner after that touchdown. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Offense makes their way on the field. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. Finds a man to the left. Big catch downfield. Tackle made after a solid game to spot the ball at the 34. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Looking to pass. It's Adams. Defense makes the stop after the completion. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Of course, a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. Bringing pressure. Here's a screen pass to the running back. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. And the Owls starting a new series here on first and ten. Well, this is great execution here on this screenplay to the running back to pick up big yards in the first down. I think in the process, Chris, they send a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Getting set. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. He'll take a deep shot here. He's a wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Owls. This quarterback on fire today. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Now they line up to kick the extra point. PAT is good. They still trail, though. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 18. Returner tried to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. Okay, the K-State offense is back out on the field now. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Secondary up now, trying to jam these receivers. Fighting off the defender. Creative running there. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Brought down at the 18, and suddenly this offense is in the red zone. And it's Kansas State on top now, Kirk. And the first quarter is in the books. What is a huge opportunity for both these programs to get a step closer to a national championship. Locates the tight end. It's complete. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball down to the four. But the offense really clicking here. Three plays, and suddenly it's forced in goal. To throw, it's Johnson. Looking to the end zone, and he will score. Touchdown, Kansas State. Chris, that's his second touchdown of the day. You talk about getting off to a great start. He may have more in it. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. The Owls offense is back out on the field now. The last drive, the passing game, very effective. Moved him right down the field. And the defense make adjustments. Defense makes the tackle on the ball carrier. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. 
Receiver looks it in. It's complete. It's a nice game. They move the football up to the 27. That's good timing there. Receiver makes the catch and then has some room to run. Yeah, anytime you're going to run a route like this, you know who needs to get a lot of credit is the offensive line. Because this play takes some time for the receiver to work his way across the field on that drag route. And the quarterback that time had enough time to be able to navigate the coverage and make the accurate throw. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. Gonna run it. It's Smith. But a quick stop by the defense. He just two, so it's third and eight. Not gonna be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. And the receiver's got it. He moves the ball to the 37 for a first down. Chris, there's a lot of pressure on this offense here early in this game. They're down early, third down and long. Nice job of protecting. The last thing they want to do is have to punt this ball away. So instead, quarterback has time. Nice throw, and it's a first down. And it's picked off. Threw it across his body and paid the price. And that's a solid return after the interception. Chris, he's trying to find something. Nothing is there. Everything is covered downfield. He's rolling to his right. Eyes are downfield. But the one thing he doesn't see is that defender who steps in front of that to make that interception. Great move there. Brought down after a solid run by the senior. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience. The hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. He's got some room. Can he get there? Tackled at the one-yard line. Couldn't quite get in, but an excellent run. And the Wildcats come to the line with first and goal. First and goal, handoff. Tackled way behind the line. He'll lose six there. It is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line. Eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Change of pace, now looking to throw the football. Oh, and he can't hang on. Wow, would have been a touchdown. Got to shake that off now. It's third down coming up. Offense moving backwards here, a long way from the goal line now. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. And the pass is incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. The kick is good. It gives the offense three points to show for that drive. And that will extend their lead even further. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. They'll return it from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Temple offense back on the field now. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And he pulls in the catch. Moves his way for a first down of the 35. A new set of downs after that completion. Back in motion now. Looking downfield. It's Adams. Quick throw to his receiver. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And they'll bring him down, but this offense creates a huge chunk play. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Running back grabs it on the screen. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. The Owls begin a new series here, first and ten. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Let's it go quickly. Makes the catch. Can he get in? The defense makes the stop at the three. First and goal. A good chance to chip away at the lead before halftime. Back to throw again. He's escaping the pocket now. Heavy pressure. He lets it go. And it's a throwaway. That's a good call down here in the red zone on first down. So the pass rush does a good job of chasing him out of the pocket. He's trying to buy some time looking downfield, but he better be careful being too patient. He gets hit as he throws his football, and it falls incomplete. The completion sets up a third and goal from the three. 
Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Quarterback escapes the pocket. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Temple. Chris, we're still early in this football game. We're in the second quarter. It's a critical touchdown to get their confidence to believe that they can come back and still win this game. PAT up and good. We get a little bit closer. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Bringing it out, it's Johnson. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And Wildcats offense back out on the field. Let's see how this offense plays this. They try to get some more points for the half or play it more conservatively. The pass is incomplete. He dropped the first hand attempt here across the middle. Second and ten here. To the air, it's Johnson. Looking right, this one caught. Finally, they get him. A great tackle by the quarterback. Not easy with that size difference. The offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. Offense moving closer to the line to gain after that catch. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab near the sticks. It's Brown. And the game just good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. See what the call is on first and ten. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. On the run here. Let's it go. With the catch, it's Giddens. And the second effort there will earn him the first down. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. First down, looking to throw the ball. And he's got his man open downfield. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. That's the kind of execution that's built on the practice field for a very precise pitch and catch for a touchdown. You know, when we were out of practice, one thing that really stood out to me about this receiver was his ability to separate with his route running ability. You can see that right there on game day and how that shows up for a touchdown. He's going to bring it out from his own end zone. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Temple offense out there. You'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half backed up near their own end zone. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. Hit as he gets the pass away. It's caught. They will rule that a catch, a huge game through the air. Steps out of bounds after a huge pickup, but hang on. There is a penalty marker on the play. This one might be coming back. Defense will have to regroup now after that 15-yard penalty. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left, perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. On first and 10 here, looking to throw the ball. And it's incomplete. Just 10 seconds remaining now. And you gotta love this if you're a defensive coordinator. It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time they got to him and forced that incomplete. He's looking deep here. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Owls. I love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. They're set now to try the PAT. PAT is good and still trail though. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. This is a squib kick right to one of the blockers on the return team. And he'll be brought down and that will wrap up the first half of play. Minnesota's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick
taken down in Kevin Connors with our halftime update. And the Owls will kick this away to begin the second half. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee in the bring the football to the 25-yard line. And the Kansas State offense is back out on the field. And they get the second half started with the running play. Defense does a really nice job here being able to contain that run game, help him just 15 yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Grab behind the line, it's Johnson. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. He's running out of time here. Got him for a sack. A big play made them one of the senior leaders in this defense. I'll say this. Th this defense went in at halftime, made some adjustments, and they look like a different group here in these first few plays. The Wildcats will send the punt team onto the field. And the ball will be down just inside the 30. The Owls offense is back out on the field now. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. And he's looking to make a big play downfield. The deep shot is caught for a big game. Finally stopped at the four. Great catch and run. Hey, Owls looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. Now that's called making adjustments at halftime and coming out, believing. Touchdown, Temple. A strong fight back. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Johnson. And he gets it out with a 28 tackle right there. Okay, the K-State offense is back out on the field now. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. Hand off to the right side. Breaks loose at the 40. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. Looking downfield, it's Johnson. Short pass, finds the tight end. Not easy to bring down. The cornerback finally gets the job done. Second down play coming up. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. And he picks up the first down. Tackled at the 32. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. This Kansas State offense is quickly moving down the field. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no gain. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense. Staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. I'll start. I'll start. I'll start. I'll start. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Second down play coming up for this offense. Caught behind the line. It's Brown. 
Tackled quickly after the catch, she'll be short of the marker. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Scrambling around now, looking downfield. He fires this throw and is intercepted. And he's got some open field ahead. Out past the 30. At the 10 now. Touchdown, Owls. And the defense adds six with the interception return. And the interception taken to the house, a pick six potential game-changing play. And nothing gets a defense, and especially a defensive coordinator, more fired up than a pick six. And let's not forget, give credit to some of those other defenders for making some key blocks and spring that touchdown loose. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point makes it a four-point game. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Returner looking to make a play here. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Wildcats offense back out on the field. Let's see if they can bounce back from that costly mistake last time. A pick six. Looking to throw. It's Johnson. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. And the Wildcats will crank up the tempo. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. And it falls incomplete. Offense facing a second and ten. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. So the scramble comes up short, and now this offense facing a fourth down play. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. And that one's straight down the middle. But hold on, there is a flag down. Could they take the points off the board, hoping to kick the, kick the drive going? Cannot make contact with a kicker like that. Costly special teams penalty gets the offense back on the field. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Oh, can you believe it? He dropped the ball. Don't see that often from this excellent receiver. He's going to bring up second down. They're going to run it here. A quick juke. And they finally bring him down at the five. Offense really threatening now. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. Going to pick up the third and short through the air. Oh, and he could not call it in. A third down drop. Brings out fourth now. This should be the last play of the quarter. Here we go on fourth down. Whole carrier brought down what is the final play of this third quarter. And Kirk gets Temple on top right now. And as we've reached the end of three, time is running out in this crucial contest for both these programs to stay alive in the quest for a national championship. Let's check out the game summary before we move on. It's first and goal. Can they punch it in and take the lead? Back to throw. It's Johnson. Touchdown, Kansas State. And they claim the lead here in the final quarter. Now, just a brilliant game from this quarterback. With a spot in the natty of the line, he needs you got to step up, and this guy has delivered so far today. You know, it's just everything coming together. The preparation that he put in leading into this game, the offense doing their job of taking care of him, the receivers running good routes. Everything right now is clicking for this offense and this quarterback. Fields it just outside the goal line. 
And the returner brought down by that coverage team. The Temple offense back on the field now. Keeping it on the ground here. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. The shotgun running play call. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. Just nowhere to go on that run play. That's going to bring up third down. Nice job of that defensive front. We go with a direct snap. They'll stop him at the 34. That will be a first down. Well, that's mono and mono right there. Offensive line knowing exactly their assignment, getting a hat on a hat, and that back threw just exactly where he needed to go to extend this drive. That's a first down. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. Boy, how about that play, Chris? That thing just opened up the back shot through there with great acceleration. What a pickup there on first down. And then first down, right back to the running game. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. Using his legs on the scramble. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Well, Chris, that's a great example of why we see these college football coaches bringing in baseball coaches to teach these quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy? Make sure he doesn't get hurt. That's exactly what he did on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and then pick up the first down. Second down after that previous play. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Third down. They don't gain anything from here. It's a 51-yard field goal truck. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. So now we're going to have a crucial field goal attempt coming up. This will be a long-range attempt, 51 yards out. And it sails right through the middle of the uprights. Solid kick. And the game now tied here in the final quarter. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. The Kansas State offense is back out on the field. Press coverage now from the secondary. Using his legs, it skins. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Good job of the defense to fight through the blocks on that screen. He's short of the first down marker. A lot of times, this can be a tough play to defend because you're so concerned with getting pressure on the quarterback. But here, the defense does a good job of coming off of coverage and chasing down the receiver. One of the biggest plays we've had so far. Third down, and the crowd really getting into it. Fires it to the wideout. Cannot connect. Incomplete, and now fourth down. The Wildcats will have to take this away. We're going to kick it away for the second time. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. Here comes the Temple offense out there. They were fortunate to get points on the last possession because of a long-range field goal. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Defense breaks it up. Nice play. Incomplete. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. The catch is made for a huge pickup. 
Touchdown, Temple. They jump in front here in the fourth. Give credit to this offense. They work some clock. They eventually get the ball in the end zone. Now they've got the lead. You kick the extra point, and you hope your defense can hold on so you can win this game. Now they'll try to tack on the PAT late in this close game. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Doesn't bring the kick out, touchback. They'll start at the 25. Okay, the K-State offense is back out on the field now. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Grab down the middle, it's Johnson. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. The clock management is going to be very important here in the final minutes. The completion sets up a second down play. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Makes the catch. It's Rice. Stop at the 36. That's good enough to move the sticks. Well, hurry to the line here with the clock running. And looking to throw now on first down. Trying to create outside the pocket now. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Less than a yard to go as they cover the line on second down. Looking to pass, it's Johnson. Misses the receiver, incomplete. Now that's going to bring up a critical third down here as we're late into this football game and a drive where they need points. This quarterback's got to take control of this huddle, make sure everybody's on the same page. You have multiple plays that you could go to, whether it's a run or a pass, but you've got to come up with a first down. First down, they're going to throw the football. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play, brings up second down. This is the sixth play on the drive. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. It's a huge gain all the way down inside the 30. And they quickly spike the football to stop the clock. Offense getting set. It's second down. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Finds an open target on the left side. He was a load to bring down. Finally, a strong tackle by the quarterback gets it. The clock is still running. Up to hurry up here, but it's a crucial third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. He pulls it in for a big game. He often signals for timeout. 28 seconds remaining on the clock. Big opportunity for the offense to tie this game up in the fourth quarter. It's first and goal. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Looking to the end zone. And it's incomplete, targeting a man right near the goal line. Anytime you're snapping the ball inside the 10-yard line, we always know for the quarterback, the windows are tighter and they close much faster. He's got to do a better job of getting the ball out quicker to give his receiver a chance. To the air, it's Johnson. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at this stage of the game. Urgency here. Got to cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. The offense decides to just spike the ball here. So trailing in the final quarter of a close game, they're going to go for it on fourth and goal. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Oh, and it's incomplete, and the drive ends right there. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration. Well, that's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger, as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and, and be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship says everything about the endurance of this football team both mentally and physically and they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs 
And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.